That was the ancient Bronze Age city of Enkomi. Used to be a port city until the coastline shifted. Then it was supplanted by Salamis, which I checked out a couple videos ago. You can't see anything from here. It's behind a fence and lost in all of this vegetation. But from the air, you can make out a very decent town plan. Today my goal is to ride to Nicosia, capital of North and South Cyprus. The last divided capital in Europe. Some serious 1900s beef going on there. Let's check it out. Let's hope we can avoid that rainstorm. It's closing in fast. The sky is very dramatic though. White girls, white house. Huh. Interesting architecture here. Is this place abandoned? Either it's abandoned or construction is just paused. Looks like this is the stairway to the top floor. Old Greek Orthodox church over there. a great view. I'd stealth camp here if it wasn't still the morning. And onward we go. Lefkosia, Nicosia. That's what they call Nicosia around these parts, Lefkosia. I'm riding into a strong headwind right now. It's making it difficult. Those clouds up ahead, they look like mountains, but they're just thunder clouds. Quite an illusion. Left Kosha, 22. Mate, Nicosia is getting hammered over there. What a fantastic mosque. So beautiful. Okay, turn left here it says. Aha, uh -huh. so this is the way to Nicosia. Sent me into a scrap heap. Ha, <laughs> nice. Ride through a junkyard in the rain. Okay, back on the sealed roads again. Gotta ride through as many puddles as possible to clean my tires off. Here we are in rainy Nicosia. A decent 50 kilometer ride. There's a church. We're driving in a little corridor through a restricted military zone. This is very interesting. The old city of Nicosia is just up ahead. Here we are. The Gurna Kapisi. Kyrenia Gate. There's Ataturk. And this is the entrance into the old city of Nicosia. Cistern in the middle of this strange pedestrianized neighborhood. Hopefully, the rain eases off at some point before I get completely soaked to the bone. Erdogan phone store, Turkcell, North Cyprus.
a couple of things I want to check out here. I want to see the old Gothic cathedral turned into a mosque. I want to check out the border crossing to South Cyprus. I want to check out a couple of the bastions of the walls. There's one in particular where the UN Green Zone wraps entirely around it. So that sounds interesting. It's gonna probably be soaked by the end. That's okay. Honorific column. Just gotta find my way around through the umbrellas and the awnings. Sweet holes, donuts and more. I wonder what else they got. The walls of Nicosia form an 11 pointed star. It's really one of the more unique city shapes around. Venetian star fort. They built it specifically to repel the Ottomans. They had a moat and everything, but the city lasted only 40 days in the Ottoman siege. And they only had these walls for 30 years, so... They didn't do much, honestly, but what they did do was create a really nice walled old city that we can all appreciate now. there's free Wi-Fi in the entire old city, at least in the northern half. See that symbol? It's a symbol of the 11 pointed star, or well, the northern half of it anyway. Rain's starting to ease off just a little. Hopefully it stops. David people. <laughs> Those minarets over there are from the converted Gothic cathedral. Let's go have a look. Everyone's sheltering under this arcade. Makes sense. I might shelter for a little bit. You get lamb, sheep, salad, and rice, eat you, eat you, mix, chicken, lamb. Okay, I'll come back in a little bit. I'll have lunch, okay? Thank you. So nice. Looks like a good place to have lunch after I'm done with exploring. Whirling dervish performances every day. Hell yeah. No trip to Turkish North Cyprus is complete without whirling dervishes, right? Okay, bro. Honk your horn. I love it the way cars just reduce all communication down to one inarticulate honk. So great. Hmm, it looks like this place is being restored. A covered bazaar. I like this little money purse. Look at this one, please. Always wanted one of these. 
no disturb the characteristic overhanging floors. What a pretty place. This is a really good little historical precinct here. Looks like this way leads around to the front of the cathedral. Mosque. Mosque Cathedral. Damn, I should have worn my raincoat. I mean, what the hell did I bring it here for? If not for a situation exactly like this. <laughs> Got some bird creature inducing vomiting there. It's a very interesting mural. Grenade. I think this is as good a view as we're gonna get. Now how about that? Gothic cathedral whose steeples have been replaced by minarets. Quite a look, honestly. It's a shame it's covered in scaffolding, but you know, at least they're restoring it, keeping it up to date. Let's go have a look at that. North-south border crossing. Ledra Street. Covered bazaar. Let's go in here. What a relief to have this sheltered bazaar. Lady Di. She really lived up to that name. No. <laughs> oh. The rain stopped, mostly. That's nice. Just down the end of this street is the wall between North and South Cyprus, the UN buffer zone, also known as the Green Line, because of the literal green line that the uh, UN dude drew down the map when he first came up with it, when they partitioned the island after the ceasefire in 1974. is that We've got a nice mural a stark reminder the divided city the world's last it's like the Berlin Wall in 2024 I hope someday they can work it out but They've got to give representation to the north somehow. Turkish Cypriots lost all representation. And Turkey was like, not going to stand for that. So they came in and captured this section of the island. And there was a big population exchange. All the Greeks fled south, all the Turks fled north. That's it. It's just a no man's land. And the South's been holding a grudge for 50 years. Here in the North, people aren't so upset about it, you see, because obviously they got their, their little slice of Cyprus and, and they've succeeded in holding on to it since then. South, they're just like salty about the whole thing. Case in point, before I came here, I wanted to go to South Cyprus. In fact, I had no idea about this whole thing. I just wanted to go to Cyprus generally, and I was going to be in Turkey, so I thought I'd come in via Girna, and then I'd travel around Cyprus. So I found out about this whole thing, and then I called the South Cyprus Embassy to clarify whether it was possible, because I kept hearing conflicting reports on the internet. Some people said, you know, it's no issue, you can travel from north to south. Other people were like, no, they'll arrest you and they'll deport you. So I needed some clear information. And the dude at the embassy just bristled with hatred 
at the fact that I even mentioned North Cyprus at all. They're just like, because because North and South Cyprus to them is like an insult. They're just Cyprus. And they never accepted the fact that it got divided. And he was like, Oh no, no, you go ahead. You go have fun in North Cyprus. You need to go have your big holiday in North Cyprus. Have fun, but you're going to get your information from somewhere else, not here. Bam, and he hung up on me. And I was like, geez. I was still in bed. I was like, first thing in the morning, bleary-eyed. Woke up and called him. And yeah, it's a funny way to start the morning. But yeah, it was very clear that the uh, Republic of Cyprus, I should say, was very, very salty about the entire situation. Whereas here in North Cyprus, everyone's happy about it. They like it. They're good. Look, look at that. Barbed wire all along the top. That's it. It's a wall. All the streets are just cut off. Forbidden zone. Forbidden one. Oh. To take photos and movie are forbidden. Look at that. They got a separate logo for camera and movie. How about that? There's a little symbol of the 11 pointed star. They did recently open up the border crossing on Ledra Street to promote unity, apparently. So I'm gonna go check that out. Okay, this is Ledger Street. Has always been a key commercial arterial of Nicosia. And it still is the commercial arterial of North and South. But in the very middle, it's just cut in half. Divided by this big border crossing up here. So here it is. I'm not sure how close I can get while filming it before people start yelling at me. But on the other end of this covered shelter, is the Republic of Cyprus, officially. Crazy. I'm not going in there. They made it very clear I wasn't welcome because I entered from Girina, which according to them is an unrecognized port of entry in the occupied territory. So, apparently, I've entered the Republic of Cyprus EU member state illegally, according to them. According to Turkey, everything's cool. So, as long as I only deal with North Cyprus and Turkey, I'm sweet. Just gonna check out the walls now. Gonna go have a look at one of the 11 star points, a bastion. The one that's surrounded entirely by the UN Green Zone. This building is abandoned because it actually forms part of the green zone. This is the boundary of North Cyprus here. So all these buildings are abandoned because it's a no man's land, you see. This seems to imply that unity is desired by a segment of the population. We want to bring back the united Nicosia and the united island. But we're stuck with this dumb situation from the 1900s. One day, one day they'll come back together. They'll come up with some sort of solution. Or maybe not. Maybe they will just come up with a two-state solution. Whew. Now there's a trashed old car. We've got a bedraggled chicken up here. Hey chicken. Bedraggled. Bedraggled chicken. Bedragikin. Hey bedragikin. So many derelict old buildings. Nice big fat minaret there. Right on the edge, belting out the cult of prayer over the entire Greek area. No wonder they're salty. What does it mean it's forbidden to take photos of a movie? What, just of this wall? Am I, am I forbidden from taking this video right now? What do they mean it's forbidden to take video of what's on the other side of the wall? It's not clear. I'm going with the latter. Or maybe I'll go with the former and just say I don't give a shit and film it anyway. 
is that wall shouldn't be there at all. I'm filming in protest. Beautiful street here. I love these vibrant colors. Oh, there you go. A church steeple just on the other side of the buffer zone. Goes to show just how close the Greek side is. Christianity over there, Islam over here. They're just like ringing the bells louder and then they were over here we're calling the Azan louder and then they're like, ring the bells louder. Competing, competing religious callings. So this line of derelict buildings that goes through the entire center of the city with barbed wire all over it. This is it. This is the UN buffer zone right here. Crazy, man. Crazy. What kind of weird geopolitical beef is this? Don't get me wrong, I'd love to go to South Cyprus, but they made it very clear on the phone when I called the embassy that I'm not welcome. And the arbitrary rulings on the internet, can't believe what the hell I hear. I don't know what to do. So I'm not risking it. I don't want them to deport me. That sounds like bullshit. So I'm just going to stick to the north, stick to what I know. I'd probably slip up and accidentally say some Turkish to a Greek person over there and then they, they'd just flip out at me like I'm the worst thing that's ever happened. Are you saying that you can go in here? Uh, all right, I am now behind the line of the green zone, I guess. Hmm. Look down there. See that UN patrol vehicle? Blue flag flapping. Keeping the peace, guys. Keeping the peace. Oh, wow. Ancient playground equipment here. Look at this seesaw. It's just rebar welded with a piece of metal. Old 50s slide. Swings. And what's this? A bunker? We've got a UN tower up here. There's UN peacekeeper up in the top of that tower looking around. This is crazy. Don't want to step on the UN's toes. This is a park, okay? It's a park with kids' equipment and it's completely surrounded by prison fencing, guard towers, gun posts, bunkers. It's like, what? This is a surreal park. Very surreal. Seems kind of somber for a park, honestly. It's like, doesn't seem very fun. But this park is occupying an entire one of those star points. The southernmost one on the western side of Nicosia. Bastion. And what's down here? Is that South Cyprus down there? Yeah, you can see Greek flags over there and Republic of Cyprus flag. So this is South Cyprus. People coming and going from the South Cyprus half of Nicosia right there. Jeez, man. And here's me, in the Turkish half. 
the world's last divided capital. Surreal. Surreal how divided it is. It's just... There it is. There's barbed wire up here, barbed wire down the bottom. So that's all South Cyprus, North Cyprus up here. It's just this wall is run by the UN. <laughs> Jeez, man. Sort out your shit, guys. See that soldier? UN soldier? Staring me down. I was thinking he was gonna yell at me about something, about the fact that I'm filming. But he didn't say anything. I guess they don't really have jurisdiction in North Cyprus, really, do they? I'm out of his reach. I'm very unfamiliar with the etiquette of how to act in such a tense geopolitical situation. In Australia, the only borders are the natural edge of the entire gigantic continent. Here you've just got barbed wire curving around a street, around a church, around mosques, around random bastion walls and UN soldiers patrolling. It's crazy. Just crazy. One of these days they'll sort it out. Two state solution, one state solution, they'll figure something out one day. And then all this UN crap can be a thing of the past. Vibrant Ottoman architecture. All right, I'm gonna make my way back to that restaurant I uh, said I was gonna have lunch at. Getting hungry. Whack. And we're here, back at that restaurant. I'm back. Hi. Can I get a uh, Chef Tali kebab, please? Uh, chef Tali kebab. Yeah, I'm getting